This woman installed a video camera in her house. Looking through the recording, she saw that at night, an unknown man entered her house and hide under the bed. At the beginning of the story, the girl returns home after work. She discovers that the electricity in her apartment doesn't work, although the lights in the rest of the house are on. Sensing something wrong, she uses a flashlight to cautiously looks around the apartment. An unknown man appears behind her and attacks her. A few days pass. In the same building, in the next apartment over, a man wakes up to the sound of the alarm clock. He tenderly strokes a girl lying next to him, eats his breakfast, and leaves. After a while, the main character named Kyung Min also wakes up. After finishing her morning routine, she leaves the house and finds stains on the door lock buttons. Kyung Min is pedantic and neat, so the extraneous dirt stains make her wary. Just in case, she changes the door code. Kyung Min has worked at the bank for a long time, but things don't always go well because of her soft nature. After a hard day's work, she returns home and notices something wrong with the door again, now the latch slide is up. During a phone conversation with her mother, Kyung Min discovers that she tried to visit her while she was away. After comforting herself with the thought that her mother forgot to close the latch on the lock, she goes to bed. Suddenly she hears someone trying to enter the code to unlock the door. Failing to unlock the door, the unknown person begins violently pulling the door handle. Overcome with fear, Kyung Min goes to the door and looks through the peephole. There's no one outside, so she looks outside and sees a cigarette butt on the floor. She wraps it in a napkin and hands it to the police for examination. The cops refuse to help Kyung Min because there is no hard evidence of a crime. She returns to her house and falls asleep after a while. In the middle of the night, a naked man emerges from her bathroom and gently strokes her hair. In the morning, Kyung Min wakes up with a terrible headache. On her way out of the house, she meets a security guard and asks him to show her the security tapes when she returns. Before work, Kyung Min comes to meet a realtor and inspects an apartment in another building. She decides to back out of the deal because the rent is unreasonably expensive. Trouble awaits Kyung Min at work as well. She tries to win over a new client, Kim Ki Joon, and impose additional bank services on him. Encouraged by her attention, the customer asks her out for coffee, but Kyung Min rejects him. The offended man accuses her of not being interested in him only because of seeing his bank statements. The offended man is escorted away by security, but in the end, he threatens to take revenge on her. Upset, Kyung Min returns home. She sees the guard being reprimanded by his boss and decides not to make the situation worse by asking to see the video from the cameras. After she falls asleep, the uninvited guest comes to her again. He puts a chloroform handkerchief on her face, and she falls into an even deeper sleep. While she is unconscious, the stalker performs his nightly routine in her apartment. He takes a shower, brushes his teeth with her toothbrush, and lies down naked next to her to sleep. After staying late at work, Kyung Min comes to the bus stop to catch the last bus. The same scandalous customer grabs her by the arm and tries to drag her with him. Kyung Min is rescued from the persistent customer by her boss, who takes her home. Once inside the apartment, she tries to turn on the light, but nothing turns on. The warden knocks on her door and gives her back the wallet she left in the car. He also helps restore electricity to the house. In gratitude, Jiam Min offers her colleague a coffee. Suddenly she realized that she didn't tell the man her apartment number. Thinking that her boss is a stalker, Kyung Min runs out of her house and goes to the police. The cops again don't believe anything she says but still decide to follow her to her apartment. When they open the door, they find Jiam Min's boss murdered. After the incident, Jiam Min is summoned for questioning as a suspect. To close the case as soon as possible, the detective pressures her and tries to convince her that she hired people to kill her boss. But for lack of substantial evidence, Jiam Min is released. To save the bank's reputation, Kyung Min is denied an extension to her work contract. Of all her colleagues, only her best friend Yun Yo supports her. Upon returning home, Kyung Min asks the security guard to show the surveillance tapes. But this fails because the working cameras are only in the elevator, and the hallways only have fakes. The security guard suggests that Kyung Min's uninvited guest might be some drunken neighbor who mixed up apartments. Kyung Min decides to move out of the unfortunate house. While cleaning, she finds a key card for the door lock. She decides to check the apartments in the house and find out who the key belongs to. After several unsuccessful attempts, Kyung Min goes up to the floor above. There she puts a card on one of the doors and opens it. The apartment is dirty and dusty inside, giving the impression that the owner hasn't been home for a long time. On the desk, Kyung Min finds letters under Kang Sung Hae's name. Yun Yo steals a bank statement from Kang Sung Hae's card to help her friend with her investigation. The girls discover that Kyung Min's neighbor does the same amount of shopping every day, at the same time, at a store near Kyung Min's house. The girls go there to follow the stalker. The two girls notice a girl in the store buying groceries at the designated time for precisely the amount they saw on Kang Sung Hae's card statement. 
They follow her, but she manages to get out of sight. Yunyo suggests her friend split up to speed up the search. Kyung Min accidentally finds a house with the same door lock as hers. While trying to open the door, she enters her apartment code, and it fits. In one of the rooms, Kyung Min finds her roommate, Kang Sung Hae, tied to a bed. She looks exhausted, an anesthetic four is attached to her arm. Horrified by what she sees, Kyung Min tries to call the police, but hears someone enter the house. She hides under the bed and tries not to make a sound. The kidnapper confesses to Kang Sung Hae that he has found a new victim who lives one floor below her. After saying that, the man kills her and starts to cut her body into pieces. The kidnapper is distracted by a cat that ran into his house, and Kyung manages to escape. The maniac catches up with her, but Yun Ju saves her friend. The killer escapes when he sees a police car approaching. The detective is once again dismissive of the investigation, blaming Kyung Min for her failure to remove the mask from the killer's face and identify his face. The cops find Kang Sung Hae's corpse in a trash can. She has Kyung Min's business card clutched in her hand, which she gave to a scandalous customer. Kim Ki Jun is called in for questioning. The detective pulls the same trick on the man as on Kyung Min and tries to prove his involvement in all the crimes. Even though Kim Ki Chan has a prior violent conviction, more evidence is needed to prove his guilt, so the man is released. Kyung Min moves into a new apartment and immediately has the locks changed and bars put on the windows. Meanwhile, Freed Ki Jong arrives at the girl's previous home and tries to find out from the guard where Kyung Min had moved. A courier delivers a package to her with the phone she dropped at the killer's house. She is horrified to find many pictures of herself while she is asleep. At that exact moment, Kyung Min makes a video call to Yun Ju. She answers the phone and sees that there is a stalker in her best friend's apartment. Without thinking for a second, Kyung Min runs to help her friend. Ki Jun attacks her outside of Yun Yo's apartment, punching her in the stomach with his fist. The police arrive on the scene just in time to save Kyung Min from another beating. Before she has time to recover, she rushes to her friend's door and breaks the lock. Inside, she sees Hyang Yo's bloodied body and passes out. Across town, an unknown man picks the lock to Kyung Min's new apartment and takes her house keys. Kyung Min wakes up in the hospital. It turns out that everything that happened in her friend's apartment was a planned staging. The stalker used Yun Ju's laptop and recorded all the footage in advance, then called Kyung Min from her phone to lure her out of the house. The detective informs the girl that the police found tools with the perpetrator's fingerprints at the scene of Kang Sung Hae's murder. He promises Kyung Min they will do a DNA test to help put Kim Ki Jong in jail. Kyung Min visits the room of Yun Ju, who managed to survive her encounter with the stalker. She apologizes to her friend for dragging her into this nightmare. A detective walks in and gives Kyung Min a hidden camera so she can watch what's going on in her house. Kyung Min goes to the grocery store and meets the guy who used to work as a security guard at the house where she used to live. He congratulates her on catching the suspect who was stalking her. Kyung Min wants to quickly walk away from the unpleasant conversation but hears the cashier say the total cost of a customer's purchase, 3,201. The exact amount the stalker who used the murdered girl's credit card spent. Kyung Min hastily returns home, where a detective calls her. He informs the girl that her fingerprints didn't match the DNA analysis of Kim Ki Jun. The suspect has been released, but someone has killed him. Shaking with fear, the girl watches the hidden camera footage. The puzzle in her head is complete, on the screen, she sees the guard hiding under her bed. She tries to escape, but he catches up with his victim this time. The police manage to figure out that the security guard of the house where Kyung Min lived is behind all the crimes. The detective learns from his colleagues that he used to work at a hotel, which is now abandoned and goes there hoping to rescue Kyung Min. Kyung Min wakes up in the arms of the perpetrator. The man excitedly tells her that he will cut off her arms and legs as soon as she tries to escape. Kyung Min starts crying, and the stalker strokes her hair to calm her down. Taking advantage of the moment, she bites the psycho behind the ear and runs out of the room. A detective reaches the hotel and takes the killer's attention. The men engage in a fierce fight, in which the detective is killed. The angry maniac is ready to kill his next victim and attacks Kyung Min. She manages to escape the killer's clutches again, but not for long as a heavy rack falls on them both. The killer tries to strangle Kyung Min, but Kyung Min pushes him away with all her might. He bumps his head against the nail sticking out of the shelving unit and finally dies. After the incident, Kyung Min goes back to her apartment. Now her life is no longer in danger, but it's unlikely she'll ever be able to feel at ease.